Chaplain Cannon here with the word of the day, and today's word is chaos. Now, I know right now many of us are sitting back and we're watching our nation seemingly fall apart. We turn on the news and we see citizens rioting, burning down stores, destroying property, vandalizing monuments, and even hurting the innocent. While all this may give us a sense of hopelessness and frustration, if I may, please allow me to paint a brighter picture for you. Now, as a nation, we have overcome many instances that have seemingly rocked our nation to its very core. And let's face it, times like these are scary and give us all feelings of despair. But I would like to ask you to look at it from a different point of view, maybe a different angle. Despite what it looks like and feels like, most Americans do not want to watch their neighborhoods burned down or citizens killed. Most Americans would prefer to live a quiet life that is surrounded by family, board games, backyard football, and barbecues. And now regardless of which side of the argument you are on, I guarantee none of us want or desire for our country to explode like this. So how can we be a part of the solution? Know that hatred is like a disease and it spreads very quickly. Pursuing love and humility can bring about a new paradigm that will encourage and motivate others. Being wise in situations of such hostility is of more value than anything else at this moment in time. We have the ability to be the model citizens that encourage peace and love and bring about a change that encourages community and inspires equality and hope without chaos and violence. My prayer for us today is that we take what's going on and use it to alter our perception of reality to help us understand that chaos is one step away, but that we can be a part of the solution. We the people are America, and we have the ability to affect change in this great nation. We have the ability to usher in a hundred years of peace and prosperity, or we could all watch it go down in flames. If I may encourage you, do your part and continue to be a part of the solution. Continue to be the answer that America needs right now. Encourage others to do the same. And as always, thank you for our, your service to our nation. We will get through this as we always do. Finally, Romans 12, 17 through 18 says, Never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see that you are honorable. Do all that you can do to live in peace with everyone. Well, that's all I have for now. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.